since I have gotten so many requests to do a, a velocity tutorial, I am finally doing it now. So um, we'll start to set up our project file in Sony Vegas. Um, for that you click on this video settings icon uh, and I usually edit in 30 frames per second in 1080p so set it to um, 1920 by 1080 and 30 frames per second um, we can leave the rest as it is for now um, and I will quickly show you the part of the song that I um, chose for this tutorial so here it is so yeah and the clip that we're going to sync to this is a 4k uh, AWP clip on cache and yeah when, when you start with it just drag it into your timeline like that um, and right click onto it go to you can either go to properties then um, disable the resampling here or you, or you just right click go to this tab I don't know what it is called in English because I have my Sony VX uh, in German so you just click on this tab and choose disable resampling so um, re resampling is basically some kind of motion blur but in Sony Vegas it does not look that good so um, just disable it as I said so what we're going to do now is to just listen to the song again and set some markers at um, like beat points or um, bass drops basically just at points where we have um, you know some some sounds that um, could be good for sinking points I don't know how to explain it but um, uh, maybe on harsh cuts in this sound so we'll just listen to it and uh, press M to set some markers so alright now um, you need to zoom in a bit and set the markers to the exact points because um, I don't think that you will uh, hit them the first time on the exact beat so just adjust adjust them ah, this is good Alright, and the last, last one here. So, what we're going to do now is we go to the first chart or the first kill, uh, which is here, and we cut the clip by pressing S, and, and your video layer uh, has to be selected. So then just press S, um, and drag the both clips um, or the cut clips to the first marker so the cut is directly onto on the marker um, yeah and first we will um, we will make like the intro to the first shot so just listen again and we'll just start like here when the scope comes in so delete the first And for this part we don't really need any velocity settings so just go to the uh, second clip or to the shot and go right click and um, add curves velocity and um, so what I like to do is now to um, push up the velocity to like 120 then go forward a, f a few frames and this always depends on your frame rate you have set for your project so in my case I have I have uh, set the frame rate to 30 frames per second 
so it will be enough if I go forward like three or four frames. Um, what I could actually do is because if I do it like this, um, it will kind of look a bit messy because we only have the orb visible for like yeah three frames and then he uh, switches weapons so what we're going to do is just go um, after the weapon switch which is like here where the orb comes back in and we'll just use this um, after the shot so the velocity to 120 go forward like four frames or three frames depends um, hold down shift and uh, just click on your velocity curve to add a new marker um, and if you hold down alt you can um, reposition it horizontally without um, without play, um, replacing it in the uh, perpendicular position so like that and then go forward another f uh, three frames set a new marker and set the velocity to um, like 30 35 here so at the start it is like really fast or a bit faster than normal speed and then it slows down quite a lot um, and yeah that's basically it so far um, now go to the second marker we can already cut the clip because there will be our second shot um, and now we need to fill the gap in between those two markers um, to keep up the flow and to make it a bit more powerful so we will listen to it once again Here's also like a uh, bass drop or good sinking point, so we will add a bit of velocity here as well. So, um, like here's our beat. It is between two frames. If we um, use the left arrow and the right arrow key, we can uh, jump one frame ahead or back. So this beat is between two frames. Um, just go one frame before it or the frame before the bus drop and go back two more frames and set another marker or actually go just one frame so it kicks in a bit harder um, then go forward two frames and set it to like 150 so even a bit more and there are no really no no real roots um, on which um, percentages you have to use for the markers it's just about trying around and uh, finding the best values for the scene and the song so then go forward like 5 frames and set it back to 35 yeah this looks quite cool but I think it's a bit too rough so set the velocity at the high point or at the peak to um, 120 and right click onto this point and go to um, fast fade So here we have two more wait yeah, and sometimes it's just a bit trying around I don't I don't really see if uh, the second <coughs> is somewhere here or if it is here so we'll just try it out um, so on the first marker here we will split it again and f 
for the first uh, clip here we go back three frames so take this marker and then take the last oops the last velocity marker and uh, set it all the way to 300 so it uh, speeds up at the end so we're going to have a nice transition then for the uh, clip after that we will set it to 150 forward two frames set a marker two more frames we just set it back to 350 and maybe up again to 120 we can also adjust them a bit so there's a bit more space, uh, space between the markers um, so at this place we want to have a little cut so we will um, like jump forward in the time of the clip so how we can do this is by holding down alt um, and then just clicking onto your um, your clip and dragging it to the left or to the right to adjust the time of the clip like that so we know we know that here um, at this point we want to have our second shot um, so set it back to 100 and like 30 or whatever can always mess around with it a bit and do our magic trick by holding alt and dragging through the uh, the time of the clip and we will again cut it at the part where like the orb comes up again so all right um, to copy a clip we can hold down control and drag it to the right uh, then go to this marker press S and delete the overlapping clip here so we have filled in the gap here and for the gap we can um, again press alt and drag until we see the scope and um, at the left picture here you can see the beginning frame of this little clip and um, the right picture represents the last frame so we will um, keep our eyes onto the right picture so this is our last frame we will go one frame before the shot so or let the last frame um, where the player is in the scope so we have like um, a nice cut here yeah so in my opinion this already looks quite cool um, of course after the second shot we can um, redo the velocity like in the first clip or at the first shot so go forward three frames set a marker or a keyframe or whatever um, then f three more frames and just the velocity to like 35% so let's see What I also like to do is, um, because 35 is quite slow for a song like this, um, if your next marker is for example here, then um, you set this, or you uh, you know, you put in a new keyframe here and set it up a bit to like 70. So we have already a little, um, so the yeah, the speed already increases from the keyframe uh, of 35% to 70. Um, so just gives it a bit more flow and um, yeah, it's just about the detail. You 
can also do some cool stuff with like this um, bolt backwards and forward um, where he kind of reloads or whatever this is um, you can increase or decrease the velocity especially for these parts of the clip um, this is also something I do very often and it looks very cool in my opinion so um, but yeah what I've just done now is um, the basic concept of my velocity and um, I will finish the clip with this concept then I will show you the final outcome and um, yeah the final clip of course as well so see you in a minute <laughs> done with the whole thing um, and yeah like I said I I don't always use the same values so for example uh, sometimes I use like 30 or even 20 percent um, so there are no fixed values you need to uh, use in order to achieve a certain effect you know, it's just about trying around and um, yeah just see what fits your scene be uh, the best so this is the final outcome we have achieved now yeah and for this clip I will like start um, a three-part editing series um, or tutorial series so this was the first part the velocity in the next part we are going to add um, the pen crop um, and in the last tutorial or in the third part we are going to um, add sound effects and maybe I will even make a fourth part I'm not sure about that yet um, in which I will show you how I make my um, overlay effects or color correction color grading um, so just the final compositing or post-production yeah I hope you could learn something new or something helpful um, I hope you enjoyed it a bit and um, you can use these tips in your own videos have fun <laughs>